go. Nice and close together here. So this is our native spider room guys. We do have, if you've ever been to the park before and when you have a look outside there, we do have a tarantula room. But it's actually a quarantined room so we can't go in there unfortunately. Um, it creeps me out a little bit too in all honesty. So what we've got in here guys is our funnel web. So I'm going to bring her around for you guys to have a look. She cannot jump but do not touch guys. <laughs> no touch. <laughs> okay. So this is a female, <laughs> recoiling a little bit. This is a female um, funnel web, Sydney funnel web, Atrax Robusta. And this is actually the second deadliest spider in the world. First being the Brazilian wandering spider, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, but we definitely have to worry about this. So where are you guys all from? Olympia. Sydney. Sorry, Sydney. Sydney. Yeah. Yeah. Sydney. Yeah. Sydney. Yeah. You guys are from Germany. Yes. <laughs> where are you guys from? Sydney. Sydney, yeah. So you guys may have seen these in your backyard. She's quite a big one, so yeah, we're very proud of her. She's a gorgeous looking spider. Yeah, arms down. Hands down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not you. Uh, <laughs> not you. In a second. Yeah. Wow. So these guys are pretty much completely localised um, to Sydney, Central Coast, Newcastle. They have been found a little bit further north of Newcastle, but most of it's northern Sydney. That's where they get found all the time. Um, pretty much our biggest supply actually comes from people dropping them in to the Hornsby Hospital. So that sort of area is really, really hot for them. So all our spiders come from people handing them in. We don't breed them here or anything like that. People find them in their backyards and are nice enough to catch them up and bring them in to us. And they're actually really important. So the same thing for the um, snakes, we actually milk these spiders here. We're the only place in Australia that does it. Um, and that's pretty much because we're right in the thick of it. So probably a good thing that we're doing it. Now, if you want to come really nice and close guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we milk them. I have got the screen as well, but you're welcome to scooch in nice and close. I don't have any personal boundaries. I'm all good. So, you can see her nice up close there now. She's actually got enormous bangs for her size. They are absolutely huge and they're very, 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 very strong. So they can go straight through your thumbnail. They can go straight through your thin shoes. So never go bushwalking in those. <laughs> That's why I always go bushwalking in these bad boys because there's no way that a fang's gonna go through those. They can go through really thin plastic. So a lot of the time we actually get them handed in in like takeaway containers, like Chinese containers. We all draw straws as to who gets them out because they can go straight through that. Um, if they get cranky enough, they're really, really powerful fangs. Now what I'm doing is I'm just trying to stir her up a little bit. Just by blowing a little bit of air on her, it sometimes works bit of a fine art trying to stir up a funnel web and again we actually only do this once a week so behind you over here that's a whole wall of funnel webs and but that wall as well of funnel webs too yeah that's why <laughs> I didn't tell you when you were standing over there and they all get milked on different days so these are Saturday's funnel webs and they get milked today so this is a female like I said and she's not producing any venom so what I might do is I'll feed her and move on so what are you feeding her? Just some crickets. So she only gets fed once a week again. So what we'll do is we'll feed them and we will, I'm trying not to get her to drop it, I think she already has. So. Um, we'll feed them and milk them on the same day. Because she's a female, this venom that I'm extracting now, oh you've got a nice abdomen. This venom that I'm extracting now won't actually go towards the anti-venom program, so this is awesome. Can you see that right there? Mm. That's the venom. And that venom there could kill all of us. Every single one, that drop. So um, they're very, very toxic. But the males are actually seven times more toxic than the females. So that's why the males are the ones that we use for the anti-venom program. Um, because if you're bitten by a male and we gave you anti-venom created by a female, it may not necessarily work and you would have to get pumped full of huge amounts of it for it to work. And that's not good for your body to be pumped full of um, any venom to Now that she's producing lovely venom, well done sweetie. I've got this pipette here. And you're welcome to come right up close if you want, it's fine. Um, and the pipette's just attached to a vacuum. So it's pumping away there and all I'm going to do is I'm going to touch the ends of her fang really gently. As you see it doesn't hurt her at all. Just milking that. Venom off the end. You can come right up if you want, you're all right. And that's it. So that little tiny, 
little bit of venom is what's been milked from her and these spiders here. So as you can see, it's next to nothing. But like I said, that could kill every single one of us in this room here. No, don't. <laughs> so what happens then? Now we still send this female venom down to the serum lab down in Canberra because it can be used for other things. So it can be used to create insecticides um, because it's actually only toxic to us um, and insects. It's not toxic to any other animal. So they're quite environmentally friendly pesticides because they don't affect any other animal in the ecosystem at all, just us and the insects. So, so what they'll do is they'll clean out that funnel with a little bit of um, acid and that's what you get. So that's watered down um, venom there. So we'll send that off to the serum lab and they do the same thing they do with the snakes, but they inject it into really large rabbits instead of horses. So the rabbits might get a little bit sick, might get a little bit of a cold, but it doesn't affect them because it it's not lethal to them. Um, so what they'll do is they'll keep increasing the dose and increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing it until it's this huge dose and their body's going into overdrive to try and produce all these natural antibodies that it produces. They draw the blood out from the rabbit, centrifuge it, and that's your anti-venom. So if you ever go to a hospital and you've been bitten by a snake or a spider and they ask you if you're allergic to horses or <laughs> rabbits and you go, I've been bitten by a snake. Why are you asking if I'm allergic to horses? Now you know. They will ask you about your allergies because some people can have quite negative reactions to anti-venom, so they want to be really, really um, careful with it. So I'm going to feed her. Lachlan, come back now. Okay. <laughs> feed her. You can see her up in the screen. Oh, Look up here on the TV. Well, oh, do you want that? You're not more interested in biting me, aren't you? Oh, there we go. What? So, like so I said, that's it for her for the week. Um, that we will do a little bit of a spot check later on the week just to see if she's done any what we called food parcels. Um, to remove it, we'll give her a little bit of water because they do actually drink water as well and need water to survive. And that's pretty much it for her under that screen there. Now we've also got some other spiders here and I'll show you the some that look very similar. I'm just going to go to the So what we've got in here somewhere So we quite often get other spiders handed into us that look very similar to your funnel web spider. And I'll show you. And people, oh, got me. People get confused and it's quite easy to see why they get confused when you have a look at this little guy here. Okay. Okay. So if you have a little bit of a look, this is a trapdoor spider. So the trapdoor spider can still give you a pretty nasty bite. Um, probably won't kill you, but you should still go to a hospital. If you're ever bitten by anything, just go straight to the hospital. The worst they can say is go home. And you can see why people get them so confused with um, funnel webs. So the only real difference that you can see is the coloration. Other than that, they look very, very, very similar. And trapdoors can actually be black in color as well. So that confuses the situation a whole lot more too. So we quite often get these little guys handed in. Easiest way to tell other than coloration, is also that the males have little boxing gloves at the front of their hands. They literally just look like they've got little boxing gloves on their front legs. And also they have um, no visible spinnerettas at the back of their tail. So it gets a little bit technical when you try to ID spiders sometimes. Other things that we get are also um, mouse spiders we get quite often. Our mouse spiders will look exactly like a funnel web except they have an enormous bottom um, and they're quite round and small. Um, and yeah, we get them all the time as well. Yeah. Oh, really 